it is. That's all it might. Hey friends, it's Amy Dante Kiddo Queen. I hope you're having a great weekend. It's Sunday. We're at the house and we are making up a, a casserole today. I'm making the curry chicken casserole. I love this recipe. It is so easy and so delicious. Very few ingredients. Guys, as you jump on, give me some hearts and share this video if I've ever shared any encouragement or delicious recipes with you so we can get more people uh, to understand how easy it is to live a low carb or even a keto style lifestyle. So give me some hearts and share this video, guys. This is so fast and easy. Literally, it's gonna take me a couple of seconds to put this together. I got my oven on 350. I did cook some chicken before we came live. So I got some little chicken bites. If you want to, you can use a rotisserie chicken or you can cook chicken breast and shred it up. I just cut chicken into to bite sized chunks and cook that up. It's some butter and that's all I've done so far. So guys, let's get busy. This is so easy. I've got about three fourths cup of mayonnaise. We're gonna mix these things together and then we're gonna add chicken and our vegetables. So we're gonna mix up some mayonnaise, a three fourths cup, and then we're gonna put in some um, sour cream, a whole cup of sour cream. Oh goodness, a whole cup of sour cream. I should've just done this whole thing. A whole cup of sour cream. I like it really creamy. So we're gonna do a whole cup of sour cream. Have you guys had the curry chicken casserole before? It's been a long time since I cooked it, but I really love it. Now you can do this recipe with uh, broccoli or cauliflower, but I personally love broccoli with this curry seasoning. So we've got a cup of sour cream and I probably need a little squirt extra. So I'll probably get some extra. So three fourths cups mayonnaise, a whole cup of sour cream, we're gonna add cheese. So I'm gonna do a whole cup of cheddar cheese. Yep, whole cup of cheddar cheese. I shredded it up myself because the cheese in this recipe, of course, is a main ingredient and I want it to be super yummy. And then we've got our curry powder. Guys, we're gonna do two teaspoons. You actually can do two to three and I just did a very big helping, the big fat teaspoon, <laughs> oversized teaspoon of curry powder. And then we're just gonna mix these things together. So again, we did, uh, a uh, three-fourths cup of mayonnaise, a whole cup of sour cream, a cup of cheddar cheese, and two teaspoons of sorry, oh my goodness, <laughs> and two teaspoons of um, curry powder. It smells delicious. Who loves curry? First off, who loves curry? I love curry chicken. I've never had curry chicken. Oh gosh, Haley's gonna love this. All right, so we're doing pizza night tonight with the family. So I'm ordering pizza for everyone, and I'm cooking this casserole for me. So Haley has definitely got to try it. All right, now because I ran, oh one thing I forgot. We also want to add in about a teaspoon, there you go, I can't see my, about a teaspoon of lemon juice. Whoop. About a teaspoon of lemon juice. I am shooting it all over the kitchen instead of in my bowl. All right, I think it's easier just to squeeze a half a, half a lemon. We're gonna squeeze a half a lemon and we're gonna hope that's about a teaspoon. Oh yes, there we go. And because I ran out of that sour cream, okay, Haley, because I ran over that sour cream, I'm gonna get me another little squirt because it was just a little bit less than a cup. So little Frankie is de definitely acclimating to the to the dogs. Uh, they've been playing this afternoon and napping. We had four dogs in the, in the house and they were all napping. It was funny. All right, now I'm gonna just do a little bit extra squirt of sour cream because I had a little less than a cup and I want a full cup of sour cream in there. And again, we're just mixing this sauce. And guys, the last thing we're gonna do, and this really is the last thing, this is so fast and easy. I've got my oven on 350. We're now gonna combine the chicken with this sauce. All right, hello. So again, we've got three fourths cup of mayo, a full cup of sour cream, a cup of shredded cheddar, a squeeze of a lemon, about two table or about a tablespoon or so. We've got our chicken chunks. So now we're gonna add this sauce into the chicken. And the last ingredient is our vegetable, guys. And for the vegetable, we are using broccoli. Now you can do broccoli or um, cauliflower. You actually could do both, that would even be better. But I'm just doing broccoli because I love broccoli with this curry sauce, it's so yummy. And then what we're gonna do is top this off with about a half a cup or less of uh, more cheddar cheese just to top off your casserole. You can actually leave that part out if you want to. We're just mixing up the chicken with the sauce. And my broccoli actually used a steam bag. If you want to do raw, you totally can. It's just going to take a while to cook. And you guys know I want to be in and out of the kitchen pretty fast. So this is a lot of sauce for one pound of chicken. It was one pound of chicken. I forgot to tell you that. 
And I steamed my broccoli, so it's pretty much done. You don't want to over steam because you don't want to just turn into mush. But you guys know how I like my vegetables. So I'm going to stir the mess out of this. <laughs> I'm going to stir the mess out of this so it really is going to, uh, <clears throat> it's going to um, stir up really, really fine. If you want chunks of your vegetable, then you can just put chunks in and just barely, uh, barely stir. But because I steamed this at 100%, it's making a mess, first of all. But because I steamed it already and I got it steamed really soft, it's definitely going to break up in there. So it's up to you and how you want your casserole. Uh, if you want it, uh, big chunks of broccoli, then I would suggest either putting it in raw and letting it cook in the oven or just barely steaming it, maybe a minute or two, and then let the remainder cook um, in the oven. So we're just going to mix this in. And then we're gonna to top it off with the cheese. And again, you can leave the top layer of cheese off if you want to, but I'm gonna do about a half a cup. And guys, this is delicious. This will definitely be in the recipe blog later this evening. So I will post a picture of the completed uh, casserole for you with the recipe. Now the recipe is in this post. As soon as I hit finish on the uh, video, you'll see the recipe in the comments, or not in the comments, you'll see it in the post. But then yeah. later I'll send you a completed picture. All right. So like I said, if you want it uh, chunks of broccoli, don't stir it as much as I did. If you want to really chop it up fine, so you have broccoli in every single bite of your casserole, then stir it up really good. Ooh, this is gonna be yummy. I love broccoli. I love creamy chicken, and this curry seasoning in this is fantastic. All right, last thing is gonna be cheese. I don't know why I'm still stirring. I think I'm trying to make it beautiful. <laughs> I want to have that broccoli in every bite. I love to stir mine up really good. Oh, man, that's going to be good. Nasty. No. Haley said it looks nasty because she don't like broccoli. It's delicious. I can't wait for you to taste it. I'm not trying that. You are 100%. You're, are you serious? I'm being dead serious. You're lying. I don't like broccoli. Oh, man. She makes silly. my stomach hurt, y'all. She's silly. No. This is delicious. All right. I'm going to taste it. Mm. All right, let me wash my hands and put some cheddar cheese on top. You may sure do some cheese. No, I got it. I got it. I got it, man. I got it. She wants to shred me some cheese. <laughs> I only need a little bit. Oh, that's plenty, buddy. That's plenty. That's plenty. That's plenty. More cheese, the better. No, it's not. You're not even going to taste it, you said. No, but I want to make All it. All right. Taste just, it. If you're going to finish it out, and put just a little bit of cheese on top. All right, guys. Haley is doing a fantastic job. And if you want to add more cheese, you can. I think this is perfect for me. Uh, no, I think you I also can leave more. the cheese off. So Haley's not going to taste this, but she says it needs more. So if she wants to help me, I'm going to let her help me. <laughs> Ooh, man, it smells so good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, it needed a lot more. Oh, it needed a lot more. Yeah. It's perfect. Just perfect. I love cheese. All right. We are going to throw this into the oven. We're going to pull it out later. I will send you a picture. I'll post it on the page of what it looks like when it's finished, guys. It's going to be delicious. I mean, it looks fabulous already. It is a chicken curry casserole. I made mine with broccoli. You could also do... No broccoli. Um, you could, no, so you could do no broccoli. You could do cauliflower rice if you want to, but I love this curry with the broccoli. It's just super yummy. So we're going to put this on 350 and cook for about 20 minutes. It's all cooked. The chicken's cooked. The broccoli's cooked. Cooked. Everything's cooked. Are you? So um, we're going to uh, stick it in, let that cheese get bubbly, and they'll be ready to eat. Gotta go, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.